Today I am going to experiment <laughs> with acrylic pouring. And what's that when it's at home? Well, it's a method of painting where you take acrylic paint, such as this and this, and you thin it down with a medium such as this, so that it will pour, it will be liquid. So I am not experienced at all with this. So today I thought I would be extremely simple and do a pour with nothing but white and black. Titanium white and carbon black. And I've probably put too much in. But anyway, now, there are two schools of thought with this. To oil or not to oil, or to silicon or not to silicon. The reason is that the flowing paint interacts Okay, this is known as a flip cup because it's a cup and I'm going to flip it like this and then I will let it sit a bit. Now, as I was going to say, the silicon and not to silicon. Because the paint is flowing, it interacts and to put oil in the paint since oil floats then uh, the oil helps move the paint and you get what is known as cells or you can be all scientific and say let's use the paint densities because all of the paint is made up of different pigments and the different pigments have different weights and when you get that into uh, liquid then you are dealing with density and the heavier paint wants to sink and the lighter paint wants to float and in this case we are dealing with carbon black which is quite light being based on carbon and titanium white which is quite heavy and wants to sink so I put the white in the bottom of the cup where it would be flipped to the top and the black in the top of the cup where it would be flipped to the bottom and we then get some interactions. 
Not to mention these lovely wavy lines, which I really like. Okay, I, I mixed the paint last night so that it could flow, I mean, so that it could rest unimpeded and get the air bubbles out. But I'm wondering if it was too thick. Well, it's still pouring. Um, yes. The mix was 50% paint and 50% pouring medium. And with the black, I added a little water to it as well. Mm. But it's going drip, drip, drip. So that's experiment number one, a flip cup. And it is looking rather interesting. And there are air bubbles. Well, to get rid of the air bubbles. and possibly to encourage cell formation because wow look at that just look at that that is just the paint density Obviously I don't use, wow, wow, oh I love it, I love it, hooray, look at that. Okay, I'm putting this away. Now, experiment number two, and by the way, this is cardboard with non-stick paper some Kodak ultra photo paper stuck down with painter's tape so that I have a hard surface and I can do things like flip cups. I am going to do a swirly pour. There you go. Swirl, 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 swirl. Yes, and I am dripping it in the middle. Doesn't that look nice? And we move it around. Isn't that fabulous? Ah, this stuff is addictive. Yes, I am not worried about oh, is that a lump or a bubble? It was a bubble. About covering the whole canvas because this is not a canvas. 
This is a piece of photo paper which will eventually become some jewellery, I hope. I love the lines. When I first came across acrylic pouring, it was done by somebody in their basement covering themselves with paint and I thought why I don't want to do something that's so messy that I need a basement to do it in but I rediscovered it later and realized that this would give me something that I had wanted for a while an easy way of doing marbling because marbling is lovely so I am not all about the cells which is why I'm doing this test without silicon because the disadvantage of silicon is that your painting is contaminated with oil and you then have to clean it off which can be tricky to do if you don't want to damage your painting since you know it's oil and there's paint and you have to clean it without removing your paint so that doesn't mean I won't experiment with silicon I just want to see what I can do with either one. Now you can use other oils. Oils ain't oils. Um, but silicon oil is the uh, standard. Let's, let's mess this up a bit. Maybe or maybe not. Will I make it thinner next time? Okay, time for the torch to see what happens. Again, lots of pinpricks and movement. No silicon in this. This is just the heat. Isn't that fabulous? Absolutely fabulous. I adore this. And I'm starting to burn my paper. I better stop. <laughs> oh, just look. I don't know whether you're in focus or not. I'll just hold it here. Wow. So. We move it a bit more. But it doesn't want to move. That's okay. Yeah, maybe a little thinner next time. Oh well. Okay, that's experiment number two.